Appreciation August is on one week early at integrativemysticism.com. From now until the 31st of August 2020, enjoy 20% off all Scarlet Moon services, including gift certificates when you apply the codes on your screen. We are now also accepting tips and donations for those of you who've been requesting that for the last seven years. You can now leave a tip or a donation at my website, integrativemysticism.com. Hey there Aquarius, it's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick heads up for all y'all out there, if you are interested, I just debuted a new type of horoscope recently. Uh, it's all about building your own spread, actually selecting your own cards that I will read for you. Now you will be building a five card spread and it's a pretty lengthy process, I'm not gonna lie. It is uh, involved if you want a personal or as personal as you can get on a you know general YouTube open for all platform, you gotta get personally involved. And believe me, um, it's much more than just a pick a card type of reading. So um, no, <laughs> no premature assumptions here. Okay, so what is going on when it comes to your spread for this coming week? This week, a lot of you Aquarius people are really kind of holding some feet to the fire. And I think that it's necessary, but I also feel at the end of the day, you may be deciding that it's time to start pulling some plugs and letting things collapse, letting things dismantle, that maybe you have been the sole supporter, sole maintainer of. Because I am seeing a lot of you calling back your power, calling back your energy this week as well. And when you withdraw that, you, you know, you kind of pull some of the final threads that were holding the shawl together. You were, you're pulling apart things that, you know, were not actually being held up by other people when they should have been. This was not, you know, you, you are correcting situations where maybe you were um, misled into believing you were on a team when actually you were in a situation with just a bunch of people along for the ride and you're calling back this energy and moving on to new things because with the spiritual theme of this week you have the three of pentacles in reverse and ultimately you know, when we look at the Three of Pentacles in reverse as sort of like the main theme of what's going on behind the scenes of everything, we have to start paying attention to whether or not something is actually doing for us now, in this now moment, that it claims. Or are we playing a long game with something that is costing us more and more and it's never going to pay off? Because that's really the big challenge, right? Because there's really only this now moment. We're going so quantum with, with this shift. We do have to ask ourselves, all right, is this already changing my reality to go in a direction that is more healthy and more positive? Or is it not? You know, because the Three of Pentacles reversed, we can see situations that can kind of come up in like work groups and teams and committees or even social communities and support systems where it's like, look, y'all say you're doing this, but you're not cut out to actually make anything happen. You're all talk, you're all emotion, you're all disjointed. None of y'all are, you know, disciplined or or maybe emotionally or, or mentally there to to go and, and, and bring something forth into being that's in the highest interest of all concerned. And you gotta start knowing when it's okay to just sort of like, uh-uh, I'm, I'm gonna pull my money out of this. I'm gonna pull my energy out of this. I'm gonna pull my time out of this. Because if you're the only one doing all the work, or if you're, maybe you don't have to do any work, but you're noticing that the efforts that you're putting in, the connections that you're in, are not actually making positive changes for you in palpable ways uh, in this now moment, this is a week where a lot of you need to, again, start actually looking at reality. The Ten of Pentacles reverse is also saying the same thing, but you're actually getting incentive to make a jump because the Ten of Pentacles reverse, I'm seeing a lot of you getting um, some kind of encouragement to uproot in some way. This could be uh, applying for maybe a transfer, uh, going in a different job direction, changing fields, changing how you're, you're getting your money. 
because there's an incentive to try on uh, something that is already talking about, uh, I guess you could say, uh, the grass really being greener on the other side. And this may actually be news that comes this week that you have to really give you know some serious thought to because the ten of pentacles reverse is indicating our time in this situation or being secure in this situation is limited whatever it is now again this could be also an investment something we're tying our money up into a living situation we don't have to make any serious moves right now but the ten of pentacles reverse is indicating okay a countdown is beginning but the good news is, is that we have this heads up and there are going to be resources coming your way and incentives coming your way to get ahead of the energy as it moves in that direction. As it goes to the uh, community card, friends and relatives and other people, the Queen of Pentacles is, I mean, honestly, I'm wondering if she's the one who brings this news of, uh, of, of greener pastures your way, uh, inviting you into essentially her kingdom, inviting you to a better situation, a, a better circumstance, something that sh that is bona fide, something that she's already worked with, gotten you know dug her hands into, really actually can can prove and 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 give you substantive evidence that this is something that is worth your time and energy, because the Queen of Pentacles is providing you with a new territory and new ground to play in socially, professionally, creatively. And it might not be, you know, a she, by the way, you know, but I, I'm just, just, you know, keeping it open there. But with the Queen of Pentacles, we do see somebody who is ultimately um, very intimately familiar with where you're being invited to go next. And again, if this is a friend, a relative, um, or, or maybe even uh, somebody from, uh, you know, your own social network, it is worth your time to investigate kind of you know, quitting the, the, maybe the dysfunctional group or the, the crazy group or the, 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 the disjointed group or the, the project or the job, whatever, uh, really kind of looking at the alternative she's presenting. Obviously look before you make your jump, right? We want to be smart about this, but there are some serious breadcrumbs and incentives and, and, and lights at the end of the tunnel coming on when I look at this queen of pentacles. As we get to the Tower card for your lessons and challenges or chal lessons that present as challenges this week, you got to stop trying to hold up something that is ready to go. It, the Tower card is indicating here that there is going to be um, a bit of a, a jarring wake-up call uh, that you can, you can save yourself from that um or or maybe this is you you could be the one blowing up the tower yourself because i mean i am seeing with the with the three of pentacles reverse some of y'all may be just so fed up <laughs> that you decide to start cutting people off now what's going to happen though is that you know this is going to be the end of a chapter of your life this is going to be an end of many things for many people that maybe they kind of treat it as home that even you thought of as a home for a while. And this could be uh, the, the disbanding or splintering or, or blowing up of a group. This could be the end of uh, a regular activity. This could be the end of, yeah, a, a personal connection, a personal contact that you have. But with the tower and the three of pentacles reversed, it is showing where this is either A, not going to be a part of the new, so it has to go away, right the new the higher vibrational higher level thing if it's not compatible it's not supported by that energy it's going to get destroyed by it anyway because the light also can cause dismantling and destruction um and if it if it if exposed to it you know and something is just not there it is going to fry or it's something that you blow up as sort of a sacrifice that you make knowing that it's going to be for something better. And, and I think that that's going to be more clear as to what that is or what that might need to be as we get into midweek. As we get to the uh, emotional and romantic side of things, we do actually have the two of wands upright. And this week I feel like... Um, a lot of you single Aquarian people or Aquarian people who are available for somebody new are going to be meeting somebody that is, uh, let's just say established. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Because with the 
Two of Wands, I see somebody who is essentially living a life that um, you could live. Like they're, they're living a life or lifestyle that you could really have fun with. You could really enjoy being in that realm, being in that world, you know, with, you know, uh, moving in those circles or, or carrying on in that way, having those kinds of adventures. Because with the Two of Wands, they're definitely feeling very settled, very at home in, in that. They're kind of the master of their own reality in that. And you are pretty you know impressed you seem pretty uh taken very very much intrigued by it so it, it's something to explore but it would require yes possibly a release of something that maybe you're already ready to release by the look of these other cards for those of you who are currently in an existing romance or in an existing relationship a partner is starting to want to change lifestyles as well change uh, family styles, change the, the way we do our marriage or our relationship. Uh, that is kind of funny because they're actually going to want to have uh, a relationship that really jives with um, maybe an aspect of yourself that you used to be before you were with this person. And so in a sense, we're kind of bringing ourselves back to our true selves. And we find out we're even more compatible for it, <laughs> which is really, really cool. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you ever want to get a session with me, remember, don't forget to uh, go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. And thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. You know I appreciate it. Mm -hmm.